Now, in Sri Lanka, police have been dismantling protest camps in the capital, Colombo. They were occupied by groups demonstrating against the economic crisis and the appointment of Ranil Vikramasinghe as the new president. He swore his oath of, us, of office on Thursday. Our South Asia regional editor, Amber Asenetarajan, has the latest. Hundreds of Sri Lankan soldiers have been deployed here in Gold Face Green. This was an active protest site about 24 hours ago. Early in the morning, the soldiers came in and they cleared all the makeshift tents, the banners and tables and chairs from this protest site and they were moved away. And I can see another barrier about 100 meters from where I am now and people have been stopped. The protesters have been pushed to the designated area where they can protest. And the soldiers also took control of the president's office, the secretariat, and this was stormed by huge crowds last week, about 10 days ago. And uh, the protesters, they had said they would hand over this building to the government this afternoon. But then this operation came early in the morning and I saw soldiers coming from two different directions and then forcing the protesters as well as journalists away from here and now I see a number of military vehicles, a police water cannon and a car and the vans and heavily armed troops with the riot gray. I also saw about 50 soldiers walking in. So the government is sending out a very clear message that we, we are not encouraging these protests here on the golf face screen and they push them to the other side where there is a designated protest area. This has triggered a lot of anger and I can see the reaction on social media, people talking about why the government did, especially why Mr. Anil Vikramasinghe took over on the same night. This crackdown, this raid was ordered and uh, there are protesters say some people were injured and even BBC journalists, my colleagues, were attacked by some of their troops there and one of them went to the hospital to have a checkup. So there is a lot of criticism over the way the raid was conducted overnight here in Colombo. Amber Asen, Etirajan reporting on that political crisis in uh, Sri Lanka.